there used to be a time where the only place to get Mexican food in Madison was this place called Chi-Chi's. It was on Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon Drive, I believe. It was the only place. And it's not there anymore. I mean, I'm talking about like 80s. Back then I was rocking like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle t-shirts and New Kids on the Block cassettes. Like, that was Mexican food in Madison, and I'm sure that was Mexican food in a lot of parts in America. It was just this Americanized Mexican restaurants that just were the thing back then. And it was, it was basically what Americans portrayed Mexican food as, you know? Like giant margaritas and, and these flour tortilla tacos and, you know, it was more of a take on Mexican food. It wasn't legit Mexican food, but that's all we had. We're on Grand Canyon right now. That was a Chuck E. Cheese. Back then it was Showbiz Pizza. How many of you guys remember this? You guys remember this. Chi Cheese is no longer, it no longer exists. Um, they shut it. They actually, I remember they, they bulldozed that thing down. It was just a rubble. It was just rocks. And now it's, now in place of it is this place called Gordon Food Service. Gordon Food Service Store. I've never been in here. But I wanna show you guys what, what, what I'm talking about. So yeah, this, this used to be Mexican food in Madison, and now it's a Gordon's. I've never been in here, but this used to be where Chi-Chi's was. And you have to believe the reason that places like Chi-Chi's no longer exist is just because of the influx of Mexicans into the country, into our state, and when the Mexicans come, they bring their food, and they pretty much show us up. They show Americans how to make good Mexican food. Guys, it's time. We're eating, Madison. Cinco de Mayo style. <laughs> gonna do in this video is we're gonna hit up some of the best Mexican spots in Madison hopefully we're gonna show you guys some some food that you may not be aware of that exists especially in the Mexican community um, yeah first off I'm gonna meet up with my friend Nadia we're going to head over to um, Fish Hatchery Road I believe we're gonna to go to La Concha which is a bakery eatery here in Madison and they have what I believe and correct me if I'm wrong they have some of the biggest tortas that you will ever find in the city and like I said correct me if I'm wrong but if there's bigger it's obnoxiously bigger um, if you don't know what a torta is it's essentially a sandwich now, a lot of times in Mexico, you'll hear, people, you'll hear people speak and they'll say sandwich, sandwich. And they're basically referring to an American style sandwich. But if they say torta, they are talking about a whole different beast. They are talking about a whole different kind of sandwich. So we made it inside and we decided we're gonna do the Cubana. Look at this thing. What's all in here? Beans, ham, sausage, egg with chorizo. Oh, egg with chorizo. Then they have queso de puerco. What is that, like pig cheese? No, it's. Okay, so Oaxaca, that's definitely Oaxacan cheese. cheese. Yeah. Oh Avocado, aguacate, lechuga, cebolla, and that's obviously lettuce, onion. So we ordered the sandwich, and yeah, wait until you guys see this this bad boy. Kind of, I use the word monstrosity a lot, but I also think like I, I'm not a big fan of like obnoxious food. This is like borderline like obnoxious. Food. 
Gracias. This is just gonna this is gonna be so bad on my beard. Yeah, it's pretty good. You just bite through each one of those layers. You get, like she said, the pork, the beef. The beans, the cheese, the lettuce, the tomato, the bread. It's good stuff. So I did it. I ate it all, knocked it out of the ballpark. What'd you think though? Good? It was good. It was a lot, definitely. That's the thing. You need an appetite to come here. You do need an appetite before you come here, but it's good. But don't eat for like at least a week. Is a week too much? Three days. Three days. <laughs> two to three days. And then you'll be able to handle this. You fast for two to three days. And then you don't eat for two to three days. So two to three days before you eat it, and then two to three days after you eat it. to Odana Road. We're at the Mexican ice cream shop called La Michoacana. La Michoacana, which is named after the state of Michoacan in southern Mexico. They have some really crazy, unique Latin flavors in their ice cream. Nadia got a, uh, basically like a popsicle that has cucumbers and jicama in it, and then it's garnish with chili pepper. So it's, she, she kind of describes it as like a savory treat. A little bit of, not, well, cucumbers aren't sweet. It's just savory. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to, refreshing is the best. It's refreshing, it's not sweet. It's not spicy. It's savory. Okay, it's really refreshing. And then I got ice cream, two flavors. This was guanabana. Guanabana, which kind of has like a milky sweet taste to it, but the tamarindo is really sweet. And you'll find tamarindo in a lot of things, especially in Mexico, in their sodas. They even have like juices. It's a very popular flavor. I just got an ice cream headache. Which, by the way, I heard you get ice cream headaches because the roof of your mouth gets too cold. And somehow that sends a signal to your head that it hurts. Google it. I've Googled it before. They say there's a place down in Mexico where a man can fly over mountains and What's up guys? We are back. Nadia, you have to say hi. Hi. Just say hi. You're hi. here? Okay. As you can see, I've changed a little bit. I've shaved off. It's a new day. Cinco de Mayo isn't actually two days. And uh, we've come to Los Gemelos, which is a, a restaurant here on the corner of Gilman and State Street. Um, the name actually means, Los Gemelos actually means twins. And just so happens that there are two Los Gemelos in Madison. This one, like I said, is on State Street. 
and then there is another one on the west side on Odana Road. We came here for three different dishes. The sopes, the quesadillas, and the gorditas. So we're just gonna go through each of them and just experience them. So let's get going. All right, so first we're starting with the gordita, which is um, potato and chorizo, chorizo, or papa, papa y chorizo. And you just doused it with sauce, with sauce so <laughs> nice. This is definitely different than like the Taco Bell gordita that you see with the little chihuahua. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. That's one thing, one place, one reason why I like this place is they actually make the tortillas, they, the masa. And you're gonna see that next with the quesadilla. Is when you typically think of a quesadilla, at least here in America, you think of like the flour tortilla that's unfolded in half. But here they actually make the tortilla. So now we're gonna do the quesadilla, but I want you guys to see it. This is not your typical quesadilla. Look at this guy, it almost looks like an empanada, a little bit. The way it, but the shape, the shape of it, but then they stuff it. You can see it, it's a much more thicker tortilla. Yeah, it's a much more hearty version of a quesadilla. That thick tortilla, and then it's literally just stuck to the gills with cheese and meat. All right, next up we're gonna try the, the sope. So you really have to open wide to get it in. But it's got this very same similar um, tortilla that you would saw that we saw in the quesadilla and that we saw in the gordita. As we were saying, is Mexican food is basically the same. It's just how they do the tortilla that changes the name of everything. All right, guys. So we just got out of Gemelos. The reason I wanted to show you guys that place is really because of the quesadillas. The quesadillas that you get there are totally different than any of the quesadillas that you'll get pretty much anywhere else, especially here in Madison. Um, but now we're gonna head down, we're gonna get some tacos. You can't do a Cinco de Mayo video without featuring tacos. Now, there are a lot, every Mexican place in the city serves tacos. If you know a Mexican joint, you're gonna get tacos. Um, and there's probably a couple places that come to mind. But today, we're gonna go to a place that I have actually never eaten to. And it's in Monona. It's on uh, Monona Drive. And I've heard that they have just really good tongue tacos. So, let's go. So I was just listening to La Movida. La Movida. Estás escuchando La Movida, Madison, Wisconsin. All right, guys, we are inside the Little Rose. La Rosita. But you have to see where we are sitting at. We're in a booth that is right next to the canned jalapenos. Guys, so we got the tacos here which are typical Mexican tacos because I've noticed this. Mexicans eat their tacos with cilantro and onion. And Americans tend to eat their tacos with lettuce with tomato and tomatoes, and cheese, cheese sour, cream. sour cream. And you'll actually see this a lot of times at Mexican restaurants where they will just automatically serve the gringo with the tomatoes and lettuce and then the Hispanics will get the cilantro and onion. Same favorite. 
They're really good. We have a mutual friend who told us about these tongue tacos. Said they were really good. And she was really right. Wow. It's a good taco. I know most people probably won't try a tongue taco, but um, you should hear. I think I think it's really good. We were told it was good. I agree. It's good. Not chewy. It's soft. It's really soft. It's like tender soft. So you don't even know it's tongue. Yeah, honestly, if you didn't know it was tongue, you would th it. You would just think it's beef. So happy Cinco de Mayo. Be safe. Have fun. And I hope that you guys know where to get some good Mexican food. Adios. Ciao. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. How many different ways? Adios. Ciao. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Te veo. Te veo. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Cuídate. <laughs> Cuídate. Bye, hasta, la, hasta la próxima. Ah, hasta la próxima vez. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Somos la gran nación.